Like many people, Jerry DeVries moved to Arizona for the dry heat. But for him, it's crucial for pain relief. Some days uh, hands hurt, some days feet hurt, some days hips, knees, whatever. Uh, some days it's just a blood vessel that hurts. DeVries was diagnosed with Proteus syndrome when he was 40 years old, years and years after never having any answers as to why the left and right sides of him grew asymmetrically or why he always had to buy custom-made shoes. My little toe is as big as my big toe. I had 10 surgeries by 14 years old. Uh, the tenth of that being the amputation of my left foot. Before DeVries, researchers didn't know a lot about Proteus syndrome, as most of the patients die in their 20s. But now, they know it's a mutation a nest of cells pick up before you're even born. If you had to look at all the cells of, of these individuals, only a tiny small percentage of them would have this mutation. Brian Schwartz is the chief medical officer for Arcule, a biotech company that specializes in personalized medicine. His team was working on a drug to treat cancer when the National Institute of Health came to them with the discovery that the cell mutation Arcule was working on was linked to Proteus disease. In cancer patients, we needed a lot more to kill the cells, whereas in these patients, we needed a lot less to control the growth of these cells. DeVries signed up for a 48-week trial on a very low dose of the medication. He was one of three adults who didn't see much change. But it was a different outcome for the three children in the trial, a sign of hope that the overgrowths can be controlled earlier in life. And my role as the older person is simply to help advance the research for those kids. That's what it's about. It's about saving those kids pain and trial as they grow up. And DeVries is on standby to get called up for a second trial at a higher dose of this drug. If the FDA approves it, it will be the first ever treatment option available to patients.